Well, today I'm going to talk about James O'Keefe, the CEO uh, and owner of a right wing media exposer, quote unquote, called Project Veritas. And this story from Raw Story says it all that he could end up in jail for a year after crashing CNN. Why you might ask? Well, let's read. Country Veritas is known for being the right-wing group that doctors videos to create a false narrative about an organization or company. They have been caught hiring people who are paying people to feed bogus stories to reporters over and over. Country Veritas has been shown to be abroad and some of their so-called quote-unquote sting operations have led to lawsuits. Such as the case, such was the case that their recent celebrity edited claims about the CNN and the conference call they managed to hold record ahead of the 2020 election. According to CNN, however, O'Keefe may have broken the law too. As the Washington Post explained, the group has spent la- the last several years suspiciously. So, you viciously recording and releasing videos of unex- unsuspecting CNN employees to attack the network and create a narrative to co- collaborate President Donald Trump's attacks. The group that claims that the group claimed that they been calling to CNN's daily morning editorial calls and recording them along with CNN's president, Jeff Sucker. In a recent video, O'Keefe, O'Keefe himself can be seen calling into a private call about the knowledge or consent or of participants. CNN public relations staff said this morning said this move might have broken the law, and we've referred to long first set the post reveal. The network didn't give any details, but they're likely correct. Given that it is a network-wide editorial call, it means there are people from all over the country dialing into the line, each person in whatever state they're calling from as their own original laws protecting them against being recorded throughout their knowledge. A company in visual specifically cited California were recording a call without permission of the people involved can draw a fine up to $2,500 and prison sentence from for up, up to a year according to state law. O'Keefe claimed that he and his own lawyers and that sucker is just mad and embarrassed. He claimed, Project Veritas follows the law. That's certainly not true. They were sued in 2017 for lying to a Democratic consulting group to place wire traps in missing devices in violation of the law. It wasn't their first time attempting to wiretap someone either. In 2010, O'Keefe and his colleagues were arrested when they got into a federal government complex and dressed as temple repairmen to plant a wiretap in U.S. Sen- Senator Mary Landrieu's office. They were arrested and charged entering federal property under false pretenses in the intent of committing a felony. Project Veritas 
as because today has also posted a super spreader party called SAS 2020. I mean, look at this. This is a super spreader event with no masks. Some of them are wearing masks, but I don't see everyone wearing masks down there. It's starting yesterday at 10.30 a.m. I hope James O'Keefe is proud of himself because he will be going to jail soon for a year after revealing phone calls illegally about CNN. And you know, it's not okay either. It really isn't. First of its kind. We've gotten over 330 retractions from media outlets. Andrew and I were sitting in a hotel room one night, Andrew Breitbart, the late Andrew Breitbart, he says, there needs to be a mascot to these retractions. Maybe an animal, like a, like a mascot, like a, like a monkey or an elephant, like a, like a, no, how about a llama? No, how about an alpaca? And then, retracto, the correction alpaca was born. Q! The Retracto! Theme! Song! Come on out. This is cringe at, at its finest. That they hosted a super spreader event. Fact check false. The New York Times will be suing the shit out of you. They don't, they don't it once. They will do it again. They will sue you. James and Keith and Fractured Veritas, they have no credibility. They just don't have the means to be a credible source for everything. Like, really? They gotta be ashamed of themselves for, like, doing this. By leaking lots of leaked audio of, of CNN's private phone call. Like, it's completely irresponsible, and nobody should do that. Nobody. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho! Merry Christmas! Now I hear that a certain someone Who goes by the name James O'Keefe has been a very, very naughty guy. Probably because he doesn't have kids. And that's probably why he doesn't have a wife either. Which could be why he's notoriously evil. 
I've heard that he had done some very terrible things that broke the law. Like exposing secret phone calls of s from CNN. And then posting a super strutter. Well, this Christmas, O'Keefe, you are not getting a present from me. You, O'Keefe, are getting a call instead. So, ho, ho, ho! Enjoy all. Enjoy the call. You are a disgraced O'Keefe. And you've been a very, very naughty man. You don't deserve to have kids or a wife. Glad you're gonna stay single forever. So, the only person you'll get though is jail. So enjoy that.